Intel Sculptrail is an enthusiast gaming platform that was released on February 19, 2008. It is based on the company's 5400 Seaberg workstation chipset. The primary difference between Sculptrail and Intel's current and past enthusiast chipsets is a dual CPU socket design that allows two processors to operate on the same motherboard. Therefore, Sculptrail can operate eight processing cores on one system. The platform supports two core 2 Extreme QX9775 processors, commonly mistaken for the core 2 Extreme QX9770, which is the LGA775 counterpart, which operate at 3.2 GHz. Sculptrail was one of the first platforms to support Schlie on chipsets not designed by NVIDIA. It achieves this by including two NVIDIA N-Force 100 PCIe 1.1 switch 2x16 to 1x16 chips. The implementation of Schlie supports Quad Schlie technology, which is achieved through the use of two dual GPU graphics cards from NVIDIA, including the GeForce 9800 GX2. This gives a total of four graphics processors. Owners of Sculptrail systems can also make use of up to four ATI graphics cards using ATI CrossfireX technology, which made Sculptrail the only platform other than Intel X58 and P55 chipset to support both Schlie and Crossfire with public drivers at the time of release. The HP Firebird 803 also supported Schlie on one proprietary MXM motherboard at the time, but the drivers were special and only available for Firebird hardware. Topic: <laughs> Public demonstrations. Intel demonstrated Skulltrail at the Fall 2007 Intel Developer Forum in San Francisco, USA, and at the 2008 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Skulltrail has a front side bus rate of 400 MHz, 1600 MHz QDR, and was demonstrated with two 45 nanometer high K processors running at 3.2 GHz. During the IDF, a 4.0 GHz phase-cooled Skulltrail system was demonstrated. Then on October 22, 2007, the two processors were demonstrated running at 4.4 GHz with water cooling. They were demonstrated again on October 31, 2007, this time running at 5.0 GHz, with phase change cooling. On April 18, 2008 Tom's Hardware, reporting from an overclocking enthusiast site, reported that an overclocked speed of 6.006 GHz was achieved on an 8-core Skulltrail setup. <laughs> <laughs> System components Core 2 Extreme QX9775 Four processor cores in one processor package 3. 2 GHz clock frequency 1600 MHz FSB Fabricated on 45 nm process 12 MB L2 cache 6 MB per core pair Topic. Intel D5400XS motherboard 2 LGA 771 CPU sockets supports Xeon DP processors 4 FB DIMM slots supporting maximum 16 GB of system memory at 800 MHz 4 X16 PCI Express 1.1A slots 2 PCI 2.3 slots 6 SATA 3 0 gigabits per second ports 2 ASATA ports 10 USB ports Topic Criticisms and issues 
Although found to be an extremely powerful computing platform, Skulltrail has been criticized by media outlets for being ahead of its time. This is in part due to the lack of support for multi core computing with many popular game engines at the time, in addition to the extremely high price of the components involved. The use of FB DIMMs due to the workstation chipset has also been pointed at as a major limiting factor for Skulltrail, although this limitation can be mitigated by purchasing specially designed Kingston HyperX FB DIMMs that have a lower latency than generic FB DIMMs. The base Skulltrail platform consists of an Intel D5400XS mainboard which cost upwards of $600 when it hit the market as a standalone part. Computers based on the Skulltrail platform also require high output power supplies for both the CPU and graphics cards, along with a computer chassis capable of accommodating the motherboard, which is based on an extended ATX form factor design. However, Atomic has reported that they can accommodate cheaper Xeon server microprocessors that fit in the LGA 771 socket, which is corroborated by Intel's official processor support list. Intel's Skulltrail D5400XS motherboard is made with two N Force chips. The Skulltrail D5400XS motherboard is now just one of the motherboards available, along with motherboards with X58 and P55 chipsets, that runs both NVIDIA's Schlie and ATI's Crossfire platforms out of the box with public hardware drivers. 